childhood tell me that since I was four I was talking about being a fashion designer. I don't know, somewhere I got the notion that that's what I wanted to do. I think I saw something on television where there was somebody that was very glamorous draping fabric on a mannequin and making beautiful sketches and I thought well yeah that sounds really good. You can dress up every day and go out to glamorous lunches. I don't know if it really panned out that way but that was, that was always my fantasy. You know, everyone always asks me what's the secret uh, for a designer, and I think that really what you have to do is understand your strengths 
and what your talents are and what people look to you for. Um, I think it could be a handbag, it could be a certain style, but I think what really worked for me was to make such a recognizable brand, to develop icons that immediately brought to mind the Anna Sweet brand, the purple and black, the roses, the butterfly, the rock and roll feel. All those things I think were so important in making um, not only my clothing work, but also the fragrance and cosmetics and all the other products that I do. Yesterday we had some nice um, photos of Alexa Chung wearing one of the jumpsuits from our spring collection. Um, she was in the store a couple weeks ago and bought a few things, so that was really exciting to see. Many celebrities wearing the clothing, everyone from like Taylor Swift, a lot of like the young Hollywood actresses and TV celebrities. So it's hopefully something that will continue for my brand. talk about the Anna Sweet Girl, there's always that element of rock and roll style. There's a mix of like masculine and feminine, like there's a contradictory thing of good girl, bad girl, but there's always that rock star quality. In Victorian England, the pre-Raphaelites were romantic poets, artists and renegades exactly the kind of people that Anna Sui likes. So it's a wonder she's never used them as an inspiration for a collection before, until now, and she's making up for lost time. I love their paintings, every chance I get, like I read about them, and then I thought, hello, like do a collection based on them. And I just love their color palette. That was like the thing that really drove the whole collection were the colors. The way she manages to combine historicism and the street, it's pretty unique. Well, I think that's what's so amazing about her, is how she's able to filter history through such a contemporary eye. It really is being able to translate history, but it's very wearable historicism, which is actually quite difficult to do. It's all about shorts for everyone. So instead of having these long, flowy gowns, there's very flowy tops and tunics, but then there's really fun shorts with them beautiful patterns. There's even a foiled velvet. Anna is magical. It's all a beautiful fantasy and also it's her. It's quintessentially her. I'm in love with it. I mean, I'm in love with Anna. She's amazing. I love that she had the boys in the show. It reminded me of Adam and Eve when they're walking down and we have the snake in the backdrop and it was kind of like we're starting it over again. I thought it was beautiful. I'm still kind of there in the world that Anna created. And you know how the pre-Raphaelites themselves were a reaction against the Industrial Revolution. I see that collection as being kind of a reaction against everything that's going on now. I always think about the idea of fear and clothing and about how fashion often reacts against what's happening in society. And I feel the same with Anna. It's always a reaction to what's happening, but also it's always so true to who she is.